engineering, whether it's uh, mechanical engineering, the um, AEC business, is very conservative business. And there's good reasons why it's conservative, because you're building things that um, people are going to rely on, and when they break, nasty things happen. And so um, uh, we do need to be conservative. And so a little bit of history is that um, when we don't remember it, we're destined to repeat it, which is written on the National Archives in Washington. Um, so we've had documents in paper form for 2,000 years. I think they started in China. Um, and we've had electronic forms of them in one way or another since the 60s. And uh, the drafting machines that were mentioned earlier got replaced by Aplicons and Kalmers uh, in the 70s. So it's a long time ago. And we, re we have documents everywhere. Um, and some documents need to have signatures on them before you can act on them, meaning there's approvals. Um, and this is in, in a variety of industries. And I would say some of us get carried away by lovely 3D models in, in the building sense, in, in Revit, which is a great product. I don't want Kevin to throw stones at me. Um, but, um, or in some of the um, mechanical CAD products, you see everybody loves flashy 3D pictures. But if I have a nice, Revit model, a oh, CATIA model of an airplane, a Revit model of a building, does that get the building built or the plane built? It's a tiny fraction of the problem. And we've, a lot of us have focused on the design problem rather than the rest of it. Um, and uh, so that's why I'm talking about documents, because documents are what helps get the rest of it done. Um, and drawings are something which seem to be here to stay. Um, leastways, as long as some of the other things that have been here. Now, if I can drive this correctly, I just click on the next slide, right? Um, each generation of product, I remember, as Leslie pointed out, building a product called Pro Engineer, which has been around for about... Uh, 30-something years. And somebody said, why do we need to do drawings? And we didn't in the beginning. And then we found people wouldn't buy it until we had drawings. Um, <laughs> some of you know that, right? And, um, and the same story came along with another product called SolidWorks. And another one called Spate. Why do you have to do drawings? Actually, it was the same person in two of the cases who didn't want to do drawings. Um, but you have to do drawings, and they have to be good drawings, and they have to look like somebody did on a drafting machine, which is to be avoided. That was the bit I hated in college. You had to do drawing, engineering drawing, and use the right pencil. Um, that wasn't any fun. Um, so... Um, there is no question in the AEC marketplace of why do you still need drawings. But in other in industries, you do need drawings. In the case of the AEC business, they roll them up and put them on a big table and they call them E-size or A0 or whatever you like. Um, and then they mark on them with red pencil. And that becomes the document of record. How do we deal with that in the digital age? But the term document of record does not exist when I'm just doing design. But it does exist when I'm having people build things for me um, because it is what uh, people use to say, did you do it correctly? Um, in some cases, it has to, by law, be signed off. And they're not going to sign off a pretty picture. Um, and. This is especially true whenever the public's involved. Um, and the whole idea of the sign-off is it tends, you try to avoid making um, costly mistakes. So what happens if you don't have documents? You can have data in the cloud. 
Um, the example oh, they gave earlier of the, um, the open bomb, it looks just like an Excel spreadsheet, and you can probably get an Excel spreadsheet, right, Oleg, out of it. So your data is not just vaguely in the cloud. Um, if you only have it in a database, who has control over your proprietary data? There was enough concern in uh, the uh, earlier days of um, how do I get at my data if you go out of business? Well, it's even worse, and it's in the cloud. You can't go get it. Um, and you, what happens to your data? How do you access it? Um, it's what the vendor says you can do. So if you're using products that do that, I would be very careful about how I can get at my proprietary data, remembering that it's never their data, it's your data. And um, there are certain CAD products that encrypted their data, and they were unpopular for doing it. One of them still does, I noticed. Um, but can a document in, uh, data in a database in the cloud be considered a document of record? I don't think so. And use it to construct something that uh, would legally need to be signed off. Um, can documents stored in the cloud be considered a document of record? That's just where you store the document. You can still produce the document. So everything we have today is virtual, or it's becoming that way. Um, once upon a time, everybody went to an office building. They went in traffic jams to get to work, or they went on a train, or what have you. But somehow we don't like that anymore. We let people work from home. They work in another country. Um, but they have to collaborate and share the same documents to be able to design something, to produce it. So virtual means a lot of things to different people. And it, it's certainly something that's come about by the benefit of the internet, especially when it gets faster and faster. Um, but it that does mean that a team can be physically in a different location, different country, um, and still work together. Um, you can work around the clock on problems, different uh, time zones. And, but the whole idea is to get from start to finish uh, quicker than you used to do it. If all the companies do that, then maybe there's no net benefit, but uh, there's always a race to be there first. And we use the tool, if we all use the same tools, we do it at the same time, but I don't think that's true. But in that process, it's even more important to know what is current. And you can have more haste, less speed. Um, is even truer than it used to be. Um, it allows you to have uh, the best people on the team, regardless of where they're located. Um, and it gets around immigration issues. You don't need visas for people if they're somewhere else um, who maybe your president doesn't want them to come. Um, uh, and it broadens the worldwide reach of a team. So Canesto is, uh, there's only one commercial here. Um, Canesto is a company that makes um, um, cloud um, document management. It's not a Dropbox, which I heard my friend, who I now wonder if he's really my friend, uh, talking about how you put things in Dropbox. It's a lousy way to, to put engineering documents that have to be changed, because they use this silly thing called synchronization. Their friends, Google Drive, OneDrive, a box, and a few other things, um, which means you won't get the current document. It was designed for static things, like your holiday photographs. It's a consumer product. It's not a business product. And then we found a lot of people who've tried using that. It doesn't work. Um, PDM is something some people love. Um, and it's basically an installed product, um, which avoids the use of the internet. Um, 
So it doesn't fit into the virtual world. It fits into the static, the old world, um, and the firewall world. There's a wonderful firewall in China, I noticed, the great firewall of China. Um, make sure nothing gets out. Um, and so um, uh, the right way to do it, we believe, is by having what looks like a disk that is on your computer, but it really isn't, like a, a mounted drive that you'd have in the court, some over there. Um, and, the, and that is more complicated to do than just copying files everywhere. When you copy files, you don't always get the latest one, and then you, your friends manage to step on your files. Um, uh, and contrary to popular belief, you, most people who make products, design products, don't just have one piece of software. They have several to get to do their job. Um, so we're designed to help users uh, collaborate with documents, avoid the overwriting, enable them to always have the current documents, um, mimicking uh, of the daily functions. And yes, it's important to have versions, revisions, uh, viewers, uh, thanks to our TechSoft friends over there, um, and uh, mobile apps and so on. So we've designed it to be easier to solve the problems of sharing. So that's, we have a commercial trial, and um, afterwards, if you want to go and see our booth, we're in Butterworth, for Butterworth and um, so I got time for a few questions, if any, other than from Kevin. Oh. Who says PDM is not on the cloud? Well, it could be. Yeah, but not the tradition. Most of them are not. I think you would agree with that. Yes. Okay, good. But not all. What? Not all. I didn't say it. You're talking about signing documents before production, so things like NDAs. Oh, yeah. And um, does the product Canesto offer any kind of NDA related um, solutions? No, that's actually a very good question. If you didn't hear it, it was about the question of uh, non disclosure agreements. And Canesto does not know what is inside a document, it treats a document as a black box and it keeps versions. So every time you change it to answer a previous question, I, well, I, but you were asked about versions. Any time you change a document, there is a new version. Doesn't matter what for, but the, uh, the, do, uh, the, uh, the drawing somebody at the back was talking about how the solid works, um, you might be changing it because you changed the material specification. That's pretty important. Uh, so you, we don't distinguish what the document is or uh, why it was changed. The fact that it was changed, it keeps an audit log, but it was changed by this person on that date. So you could use it to store a non-disclosure agreement. You could also use DocuSign or something to, so instead of physical signatures. So when documents, in my mind, documents are pieces of paper, they're computer bits and pieces, um, it doesn't matter the form that they're in, uh, which is the point I, I think I made. But so yes, and furthermore, you know, the, the document that to build a building, uh, since there tend to be a lot of them, it's not just an architect's um, model in Revit. There's a lot of specifications that need to be addressed on, on what this material is and so on and so forth, and it ends up often in the drawing or on other pieces of paper. In the mechanical world, there's a lot of specifications that should be attached to the document. And so it's again, it's more than just the CAD model, and we focus on the pretty CAD models far too much. I don't know if that answers your question, I hope so. 
I guess it's a way of handling NDAs uh, that I'm interested in specifically, instead yeah. of um, uh, current methods of emailing, manually signing. They can be scanning. changed. Yeah. But the, the beauty of it being in the cloud, you can't get to change it except by some tool that records that you changed it. Um, we, know, we know how you can fake out things. So the cloud is, in a way, far more secure than your own data center. Um, I mean, the, uh, I went to um, a plant in General Motors not so long ago, and they insisted on writing down the, uh, my laptop serial number and the rest of it when you went in, and you said, oh, this is really secure. Did they look at it when I went out? No. I could have copied anything I wanted. Uh, I mean, that's fake security. The cloud actually helps enable that. And uh, in, our, in our case, we store the, day, the files in an encrypted form in the cloud, you know, so you can't get to somebody else's data. Does um, Canesto uh, does that manage workflow change your processes? And um, it, it has a workflow component. We look at documents as being the center of the universe in the engineering architectural world but there are applications that work on the document. So we have tasks, we have discussions, we have workflow that works on a document. So an engineering change order, or field change order, whatever, um, you can have a form associated with that and sign off by these five people, you know, and then it doesn't move forward till they do sign it. Or it can be rejected and for further work. Are we, Strictly a workflow product? No, we do the straightforward things. Okay. I hope it works better for you.